What's good, my YouTube people? It's your boy, Orlando, man. I'm back with another video. Before I even get started, man, hit that subscribe button and that like button, man, and we gonna jump right into it, y'all. No, don't like to be too long, man, but what's good, people? Um, Man, you, you know I got to talk about this. I got to talk about it because this is just this amazing. I got to see what y'all think about this, man. Um, Notorious Big. Going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before LL Cool J. What y'all think about that, people? That's that's mind blowing. Now, before I really jump into this, I I I want y'all to do me one favor. Do me one favor. Get rid of all the hype, the industry hype, quote unquote, all the emotions. Throw that out the door. Um. And let's state facts, because I'm a facts guy. I don't do the emotions and the hype, you know what I'm saying? Because hype don't have no facts to it. Or it have very little more. It had 90% of just people opinion and 10% facts. So we're going to do the opposite of that. So throw your emotions out the door. Um, throw the hype, the industry hype out the door. And let's get into this thing, man. The Tories big. Um. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm a Notorious Big fan. Uh, in my actual CD case, yeah, I still got CDs. I have both of his CDs in there. I have his, I have his music. Um, Notorious w was dope. Great rapper. Great, you know, storyteller. Great way to put the lyrics together. Um, I like that about him. He had, he had, he had everything that you would want. You know what I'm saying? In a, in an MC. Wasn't lacking nothing. Um, but there's only one problem with that. And I tell people this. Like I said, get rid of the emotions and the hype. Uh two years, a two, a three, four year run just is not enough to put you in categories of goat talk. With me, it just can't work. To, to me, you cannot have two albums and be able to be mentioned in goat talk. It just, it just don't work like that. It's a lot of artists came and went, and you don't put. And they was good, great artists, but you, they don't go in goat talk because they didn't do enough to to get there. That alone, the Torch B had two albums. They were two good albums. Um, but just not enough to go in the man. Goat. Not even the goat talk. I can't even me personally, like I said, I don't go off industry hype. I go off facts. He's not even a legend. I don't y'all let's talk about it. You 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 didn't do enough to even get placed in legend talk because legend is another word to me of longevity. And not even longevity. When you judging by legend, being a legend, we got to judge your whole total body of work. Total body of work. Two albums, we can't even judge your body of work because you ain't got enough body of work. These are facts, not emotions. I don't want to hear how... I've, I've been talking this with, with a couple of my homies, and they was mentioning how good he was. That ain't got nothing to do with... Um, your total body of work, because you got a lot of good MCs, but they didn't have their work. All right? That's what Biggie, with LL, 30 plus years in the game, still living, still living, got a new album that he, he's working on for to come out, countless hits that we still grooving to for over 30 years, over 30 years, countless features, battles, um, I mean, you can't turn on nothing or go nowhere without seeing or hearing this LL Facts. He's the blueprint for your favorite rapper of today. I don't care how you look at it. You cannot, as an MC, your favorite rappers, Drake's, Ja Rule's, all those type of guys, Nilly's, all those type of guys, 50 Cent. All those dudes' music, even the Jay Z's, was influenced some type of way. Even Tupac, 
by LL Cool J. These are not opinions. These are facts. Like I said, throw opinions, emotions, all that out the door. Let's go with facts. I'm a facts guy. I'm a facts guy. The whole blueprint of the industry was pretty much shaped around LL Cool J. Let's just be real. He was the first successful solo artist. First album come out and do a million. You tell me who can do this. Especially back then. Do a million goes platinum with zero videos. Zero this videos. was before. This dude had no videos off that album. And still went platinum. It might have went two times platinum. Uh, but you can't even, as a artist, the labels won't even let you make a song, an album, without making a song to cater to the women because of LL Cool J. These are facts. He didn't do enough work. Pac, another conversation. I still really don't, you know, but that's another conversation. <laughs> but Pac, we can, that's a different conversation, but this is all hype when you go to throw us, just shoving somebody in there because you need an East Coast hero that you know, you can just put up there with Pac, but LL is second to none. We just gonna be real with his body of work. We just just gonna be real. I don't care how you put it. It just he's second to none. And to put Notorious Big, I like Notorious Big, but to put him before LL Cool J is just total disrespect. Uh, even putting Tupac before LL Cool J is total disrespect because. If, if LL Cool J had My died, class, you would view him very different than what you view a rapper that's been in the game 30, 35 years. These are facts. So, like, subscribe, man. Hit me on the comment. Let's talk about this, man.